Hi viewers, in this video we are discussing about how to import an excel file into a java jtable in NetBeans, NetBeans project. Ok, so I put one link, link in the description, so you just check it out the link. When you click the link, you will be redirected to this page and it is clearly mentioned here see how to import an excel file into mysql database quickly ok this is saying about importing excel into database but in the step 1 you can see import excel file into a jtable to do so we need to download some library files you can click in the apache poe area from that link you can download some jar files, library file it is mandatory to deal with these excel files. So click on there and download the jar files and add into the library area. So when you come back to the bins you can see the library area just right click and add jr files or folders okay. then choose your downloader jr for library files here so i have already done so i'm not going to just select and open it okay. then you can see the those files jr files library files here this much library files i already added in this project to deal with the excel files because if you miss anyone, you may get some kind of errors. So then after that, you can create a JFrame and drag and drop some drag and drop one text file and a button and rename it in board. Then one JTab. Here we are dealing with a simple Excel file which contains only five columns. Lane name line number, item name, description, service duration and quantity. The Excel file will be this five column. Pro, number of rows can be increased how much value you have. And those file will be imported here into this data table when we click the import button. When we click the import button, it should pass this with should provide this to a JFL chooser to select one Excel file. So the JFL chooser we will import our Excel file into the JTAB. So to click the import button, double click. See here you can see one user one function only and the function is defined here over. Okay, to get this function, go back to the website. Here you can see this is the dummy excel file, the values are dummy only, dummy values, you can change the real values, you can copy the function here, ok, just copy one function and paste into your uh, project, ok. As I told you, I used five columns. If in your case you need many columns or no, less number of columns, change this values accordingly. Okay. Under the table cell also change the number of columns. Come back to it means see. This is the file we use one file, file input string, file j, j file chooser. Let's try run the file. Click the import button. Now j file chooser pop up and you can see the text. This is the Excel file I have prepared for this one. See, imported successfully. This file imported into JTAB now. 
This is the file. So dummy file is with the dummy value service. Create some more values. And save. This is the title, line number, item number, quantity. Okay. Close the Excel file. See, there is one um, blank text box, so we can fill with uh, this uh, with the uh, path file path. So copy the variable, come back and uh, variable name dot set text. The set text uh, should be the Excel file. Variable Excel file. Excel file dot to string. Now let's save and run again. Game board button. Open. Button successfully. See the test box is filled with the file path. Okay. Now you can see the old Excel file is there. We started with the first code in the configuration because we skipped the first row in the Excel. Because first row contains title only. If you need the title, you can start from the zero here and run again. So here you can see the title again as a first row. So basically I don't need it because I have already have the title of the JTAG. So I'll change it to one and run it again. So we'll see this is working fine and uh, in the next video we will learn how to Insert these all values in the JTAB into my SQL database when we click this save button. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.